So here are a few questions to practice skills in terms of calculating probabilities when we have a normally distributed random variable here, one that is standard normally distributed with zero mean and variance one. So let's look at the probability that x is going to be smaller or equal than 0.23. A normally distributed random variable will have a PDF that looks something like this, it's centered around zero, the mean, and let's mark off 0.23. So what we are interested in is the probability that x is smaller than 0.23. For a continuous random variable, we know that the probability is represented by an area, the area underneath the probability uh, density function. So this is the uh, probability we want. We want a table a sort of a typical normal table. What these tables usually report are a cumulative probability, a uh, probability that set is smaller than a certain value. For instance, smaller than negative 2.54, and we can read of 0.055, and that's this probability, okay, presented by this area. But that's not the one we need. We want the probability that x, which is also standard normally distributed, is smaller than 0.23. Now, firstly, Note that this is the same, the probability that x is smaller or equal to 0 0.23 is the same as the probability that x is smaller than 0 0.23 because for continuous random variable the probability that x is exactly 0 0.23 is equal to zero. So let's look, let's find 0 0.23 in the table, that's this value here, we get probability of 0 0.59510 that's the probability that x is smaller than 0.23, so it's the size of this green area here, which is exactly what we were after. So this is the solution to the first question. Second question, we want to know what's the probability that x is larger or equal than 0.23, so let's look at this graphically. We can use the same little plot because now we are just after this part of the probability density function. Now we should note that it's a feature of uh, density functions that if you add up these two areas, they will be equal to one. Okay, so the area underneath a PDF is equal to one. And therefore, one way to calculate this is by saying the probability that x is large or equal to 0.23 is 1 minus the probability that x is smaller than 0.23. And we want to translate it into this smaller than probability as we can read that off the table, and we did that already. That was 0.5910, so the probability that x is larger is going to be 1 minus that, which is 0.4090. And that was the solution to part two. So part three. Now we want the probability that this standard normally distributed random variable takes a value between negative 0.5 and 1.84. So how do we do this? Again we shall first look at this problem graphically. We'll uh, sketch a PDF for x centered around zero and now let's mark off negative 0 0.5 and 1.84 and what we are now interested in is that x falls between these two values so we are interested in the area between these two markers. Now off the table we can only read probabilities of the smaller than type. Right? We saw that before so we need to somehow translate that problem into smaller than type problems and that is done quite easily and seen graphically easily how to do that. If we take this red probability which is going to be the probability that x is smaller than 1.84 and we subtract this blue area which is the probability that x is smaller than negative 0.5 then we are just left with the green bit. So the red bit is probability that x is smaller than 1.85 for the minus the blue bit and what we are left with is the green bit. So we just need to find these two probabilities. 1.84, the probability is 0 0.9617. 96, um, oh, sorry, 9671. And the probability that x is smaller than negative 0.5, we can also easily read off the table here. 
is 0 0.3085 so we just need to calculate what that is that is 0 0.6586 and that is the size of this green area in the solution